The day we've finally been waiting for. No more pie charts in NBA 2K. Instead of limiting players to 8 general archetype based takeovers, we've broken those 8 into 24 new takeovers? What? Oh my god, yo, look at all these new badges. Bro, the amount of badges they added is insane. This is my favorite part. Last thing I want to mention about takeover, when you've earned all your badge points, you will receive the Mamba mentality badge which allows you to change takeovers whenever you want. I'm not gonna lie to you, next gen NBA 2K21 is a W. <laughs> Drop a like in the next five seconds or your jokes will be as corny as Ronnie 2K's. I wouldn't risk it. Like Ronnie, what is this bro? You versus the guy she told you not to worry about. You posted a pic of a clown. Why would I be worried about a clown? I'm not gonna lie Ronnie, if the game is worse than your jokes, we in trouble. What's up Simply Squad, it's your boy next gen grinding and y'all next gen NBA 2K21 is game changing. Straight up. There's no other way to put it. It literally changed the game. We got new badges coming in. We got old badges going out. We got 24 new takeovers. We have the ability to change our takeover. And most importantly, we have new hairstyles. I, I'm gonna be dripped out. I'm gonna be dripped out in the park. That's important. Y'all know me. I pride myself on my 10 out of 10 drip. Now y'all, we have the final article about next gen NBA 2K21 here. And we're about to go through it. Listen, I I know a lot of y'all are in class right now, but this is the only class that matters for the next 15 minutes. You understand? Class is in session, and I'm gonna be reading a lot, so I hope y'all brushed up on y'all's beta. If you don't understand me throughout this video, just get better. Simple as that. You gotta get better. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Basically, first paragraph, they just say that it's releasing on November 10th for the Xbox and November 12th for the PS5. In the comments, let me know, are you gonna get an Xbox just to play two days early? Or are you gonna stay loyal to the PS5, man? Let me know what y'all doing. Now, the first bit of exciting news, player builds, badges, and takeover. The next gen player builder is all about customization. We've taken in a lot of feedback from the community. One thing that we hear loud and clear from you is that you want more options. Here's our response, bro. Oh, I'm liking this. No more pie charts. That's it. Pie charts are gone. You can no longer choose from a preset skill breakdown pie chart for next gen instead we've given you control over setting each individual rating to the cap that you prefer hey for everyone that's new to 2k 2k 15 2k 16 2k 17 it was like this all right those were some of the best 2ks ever and it looks like they're going back and revamping that style i like it obviously there are restrictions based on your vitals yeah you can't be seven foot six and speed boosting that's just not gonna happen and you can't max out everything but there's much more to control to make the exact type of player you want to be and the first footage of next gen nba 2k21 let's see whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, on, hold on hold on hold on go back go back go back go back go back the lowest overall is a 40 there's gonna be 40 overalls walking around the hey Hey, bro, if you're 40 overall, that means you my player build in real life. Do not be walking around with a 40 overall, all right? You better get you some VC. You pull up on me with a 40 overall, you getting dropped out. I'm just saying. Okay, I see what they're doing here. So basically, whenever your attribute upgrades, you get a certain amount of badges. It's nothing too revolutionary, all right? It's pretty simple. Now, the next thing we got is a my player builder showing that there is no more pie charts. But why is there a billion takeovers? Oh, my. Oh, so the different takeovers have the same symbols. Okay, that's cool. So wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we got pull up precision, ankle break breaking shots that's for Ticino with the step backs and everything limitless range spot of precision and it just skipped it to a shot creator all right to a shot creator not bad now badges there are a ton of new badges a lot of thought and redesign went into the badges for next gen many favorites return but most have undergone some significant functionality changes there are also some new ones some revived ones and some removed ones and it gives advice but my advice when you get next gen is to experiment with different badges that you may have overlooked in the past because you might find some new favorites that complement your play style okay so some badges change let's see the new ones fearless finisher boost contact layups and decreases fatigue heat seeker boost takeover progress highlight film boost team takeover progress on flashy dunks hook specialist post scores look at me look at me in my teddy bear eyes you do not put on hook specialist you understand you post fade away me you do not post hook that's it no more I'm tired of it. Revive posterizer contact dunks, obviously. Rise up, boost ability to do standing dunks. Anti-freeze, harder to get cold. Blinders, less affected by peripheral de- Oh, that's the new dead eye, isn't it? Oh, I'm definitely putting blinders on Hall of Fame. Ain't nobody jumping from the side and getting the contest. I'm sorry, it's overdose. It's overdose 24-7. Circus threes, improved ability to hit pull up and step back threes. Tysino written all over it. Fade A's, boost all post fade away. Okay, so post score is just gonna be OP again. <laughs> Let's just get that out the way. Hot shot increases takeover meter when knocking down jump. D threes, Damon Curry range three balls. Oh, that's limitless range. Rhythm shooter, boost shot percentage out of size ups as well as one step pull ups. Wait, does that mean that size ups are back? If y'all don't remember, on 2K21 we 
all had to like learn how to quick stop to shoot. There's no like, you know how in 2K20 where you could like flick RS to the right or left and back up to the left or right and then shoot? You couldn't do that in 21. So maybe next gen they brought it back. Sniper boosts the ability to hit shots when using pro stick aiming. No, 2K, no, no. The Zen users and the modded controllers are giddy. They laughing at this video right now. Do not, do not do this. No more shot aiming, please. Listen, to all my modded control users, my, my Zen users out there, listen, you drop off your favorite YouTuber with a modded controller, why do you feel proud? There is no pride in that. Drop off your favorite YouTuber legitly. I promise we not even that good. Stop and pop three for the JJ Reddicks who want to pull up for threes in transition. That actually might be a little underrated. You know how sometimes it gives you that fading catch animation where like you fade forward while you shoot the three? If you have that badge, those might go in even when you accidentally do it. Special delivery boost takeover progress for the passer and receiver off a of flashy pass. Oh, that's going to be cheese. Ankle breakers makes it tougher for ball handlers to break your ankles. I'm going to call that the content killer right there, bruh. Do not put ankle braces on. Just get dropped. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. You pull up with ankle braces on, I'm going to snap you through your ankle braces, okay? You're going to be stunned. You're going to be stunned, all right? Don't do it. Don't waste the badge points. Hot stopper boost takeover meter for good defensive plays like steals, block, and good contest. My defensive enthusiasts out there, man, they're they looking out for you. I'm not going to lie. Bro, these badges look sick. I'm not going to lie to you. Hey, look, it's the DF badge. I like it. Here, Oh, here are the badges that they removed, y'all. All right, consistent finisher, contact finisher, cross key score, fancy footwork, no way. That Fast break finisher, deep hooks, pick and roller, relentless finisher, showtime, deep fades, flexible release, hot start, pick and popper, pump fake maestro, range extender, quick draw, thank you, steady shooter, pass fake maestro, flashy passer, lob city passer, lightning reflexes, and moving truck. Now I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these badges they may have removed, but they added a new version of the badges, except the only one I don't see a new version for is Hot Start. Like, I don't think they added a new Hot Start. I don't think making the first shot means anything. But uh, yeah, y'all hear the new badges. Hey, look, they got a Grand India badge. Instead of limiting players to a general archetype base, we've broken them down into 24 specific takeover abilities. Y'all, the way I think a takeover now isn't takeover. Like, it's not this overpowered thing. I just think of it like an extra badge that helps you do what you are already doing. There's advanced gathers, unlocks more effective spin, euro, that's kind of lame, not gonna lie. Finishing moves, able to absorb contact and finish at the rim, so that's contact finisher. Easy blow buys, oh no 2k18 flashbacks. Pull up precision, boost well time shots off the dribble, that's Ticino. Ankle breaking shots, more ankle breakers off spin and step back jumpers, that's also Ticino. Ticino's gonna have this as his primary and secondary, I bet you, bro. Negative impact, reduces defensive impact against pull-ups and other skill shots, limitless range, extends your shooting range to out to the logos, I'm probably gonna have that one. Team badge boost, boosts your teammates' badges up a tier, that is gonna be OP. If someone on your team is a team player, like say you're running threes and, and one of your teammates has this, your badges go from gold to hall of fame when they get takeover, like that's OP. Extreme clamp. Really? I need to be getting clamped even more? More stone wall and lost dribble body up resolutions for locks. Oh no. Perimeter badge drop knocks shooting badges down a tier when you get close. Lockdowns might be OP again. Pain intimidation boosts your ability to affect shots around the rim. Interior badge drop drops your opponent's scoring badges down a tier in the pan. Oh, this might be the post score killer. Okay. Box out wall improves ability to seal off opponents for easy boards. See the future shows where missed shots are going to end up. That's glass cleaning tape. Glass clearing dimes after rebounds kick out passes boost your teammate shooting. Okay, I can't see a single person picking that. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot see a single person picking glass clearing dimes as their takeover maybe glass cleaners as their secondary but i cannot see someone just picking that as their one takeover power back downs easy to push defenders around when posting up post scores i hate you with a passion post playmaking boost your teammates offensive abilities when passing out of the post advanced post moves easy to beat defender bro how many post moves <laughs> how many post score takeovers do we need post shot daggers are you serious increase scoring ability with hooks fades and shimmy shot okay so post scores 100% a safe build to make. I'm not gonna lie to you. What I have noticed though is that they did balance a lot of these takeovers. Maybe post scores get a little more than they need, but other than that, like it seems like there's a lot of give and take. Like if someone has the one where you can shoot from logo, someone could have the jump shot defensive one. You know what I mean? Like there, it seems like there's a lot of balance. We've also changed takeover to a multi tier system. Oh, okay. Once you set up your rating caps and vitals, will be presented with a subset of the list above based on the type of build you made. Then you choose one ability for your primary and another for your secondary. We got secondary takeovers i wonder if you have to unlock them like at 94 overall remember like on 2k19 or if you just get them right off the bat or if you want you can put the same ability in both slots if you want to double up on it when you're in game your takeover meter will fill up your primary takeover slot first once filled you choose to activate it right away or wait and fill up your secondary slot okay that's interesting so you won't get two takeovers right off the bat you're gonna have to risk it like if you get your primary take you don't activate it 
you have to wait till you get your secondary take and then activate it. And who knows how long that'll take. It could be 12 to 15 points. Most games, I'm probably just gonna activate my primary take. So make sure y'all's primary take is what you really, really want. You must be careful because if you take the risk, you lose all your progress with a missed shot. Yeah, that's nothing new. If you can fill in your secondary slot, you can activate both the primary and secondary takeovers, or you can wait an even longer period of time and activate team take. If you fill all three, activating will enable your entire team's takeover, and it's pretty much over for the competition. I would hope so. You miss with team take. That's bad. Last thing I want to mention, this is my favorite part. Last thing I want to mention about takeover, we wanted to honor our late friend Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Kobe who we tragically lost way too early this year. When you've earned all your badge points, you will receive the Mamba Mentality Badge, which allows you to change takeovers whenever you want. I guess Ronnie wasn't capping, y'all. He was just two years early. So just like Kobe, you can vary up how you can choose to take over from one game to the next. Now, the next things they talk about is gameplay mechanics. Next Gen AI. Next Gen was an opportunity to reset on a lot of areas of gameplay. This was especially true when it came to artificial intelligence. Some of these items are immediately noticeable and some are more nuanced for the hardcore X's and O's hoop heads. Hey, yo, drop a like on the video if you a hoop head, yo. But one thing's for certain, NBA 2K21 continues to lead the way in accurately modeling its respective sport better than anyone else out there. That is facts. I'm sorry, NBA Live. You just can't compete right now. Okay, I just read that paragraph and got no information. I was supposed to read this part. My fault, y'all. My fault. So basically, I just skimmed this first paragraph. You won't switch as often with the AI. If y'all know 2K, y'all know that they make you switch arrows and then the AI picks up on the guy you're already guarding and then leaves the paint wide open for no reason. It happens way too often. So apparently that's fixed. Improve logic for CPU defenders to get in position to take charges. Oh, nah. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. If I get a charge taken by our player... Oh, we throwing hands. The player can now call for help defense by holding L1. And, okay, so you can double team with the AI. This is a great mechanic that you can use when guarding the ball instead of hoping the AI selects the right time to send help. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care about AIs that much. We're skipping through this. All right, here we go. Next gen offense. This is what I want to see. Okay, nothing too crazy here. He just goes under the screen instead of over and then LeBron shoots a close shot fade. And then look, Alexis popped up. Everyone say hi to Alexis, all right? Closing thoughts. As I said in the NBA 2K21 current gen blog a few weeks ago, this has been a roller coasting year for 2K with the changes to our work from home culture in addition to having to roll out both current and next gen versions i'm amazed at the town and grip so they're basically just thanking the 2k staff i'm gonna do the same all right thank you 2k all right i know we all get on y'all's head a lot because not gonna lie y'all be messing up a lot but i will say i'm thankful that y'all did come out and give us a next gen version of the game that seems like it's going to be five all of this is good all of this is great all of this i like it because it's new content and it's something new for the game but none of this matters if we don't get three things one parks that look amazing i need a whole new environment all right two a new rep system i need a reason to grind that was current gen's biggest flaw people stopped playing after a week because there was no reason to grind for the same rep rewards shout out to my boy double h me and him were talking we were like bro i don't care if they give us a polar bear like something completely unrealistic i don't care if they give us college mascots i don't they just need to give us something that's fun i don't care if they give us pets i don't care if they give us a chupacabra at legend okay like, I just need something that is so new that it makes me want to see what it's like. And the third and most important thing, solid gameplay, y'all. All of this could look great. All of this could be amazing. All the baddest could be amazing. But if it plays like 2K18 with his abusable step backs and blow buys and post scores just run the 1v1 court, then it's not going to be fun. It's got to be fun. Next gen, I have a lot of hopes for. I'm super excited after this article. I hope y'all are too. And I hope y'all are excited for my channel as well, bro. I feel like as a content creator, I've grown so much over the years. I feel like my videos now have been the the most entertaining they've ever been well not this video this is a news video okay don't judge me but you get what i'm saying like if you watch one of my last two videos i feel like you'll be thoroughly entertained 100 so anyways y'all if you're rocking with me to next gen our mill year hopefully our year where we finally hit a million after five years of grinding drop a like drop a sub with notifications on man and spin with simply squad if you made it to the end bro because man i love my simply squad i swear i do Y'all have changed my life forever, and I'm forever grateful. And, uh, yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, let me know what y'all think about Next Gen 2K21. And as always, keep grinding. <laughs>
will be falling Rachel, she never 